Good day everyone. I am here to uh, explore the CMD and its uh, basic commands. So first things first, uh, let me introduce a command prompt to you. So a command prompt allows you to the run programs, manipulate window settings, and access files by typing in commands that you wish to execute. To start a command prompt, you simply need to type uh, CMD in the start menu or uh, here the search bar so you need to type uh, cmd so this is cmd so you need to click it so the first uh, command is the command dir so command dir uh, displays a list of folders files and subfolders so uh, it shows the current folder or the folders of your computer so you just need to type dir so it shows the folder and subfolders. So the second uh, command is the command cd or chtir. So uh, what it does is it, it displays the name of the current directory or changes the current folder. So you need to, just need to type cd. I can go uh, uh, to uh, any path I want to go. So example, I want to go to the desktop. So just need to type this stuff so I'm here uh, at the this stuff so uh, if you want to go back to uh, to the uh, root path or the uh, main path you just type CD and double period or double dot so it goes back to your uh, main directory So the third command is the uh, command md or mkdir short for uh, make directory uh, so it uh, creates a folder or a di directory to to do that uh, you just need to type uh, uh, the command md and the folder name uh, let's just say it is os and in order to see this uh, OS folder or folder OS you just type uh, the command dir to show to show all the folders so as you can see there there is uh, a directory or I mean a folder that that is named uh, OS the fourth uh, command is the rm or R R I R M D I R so this is short for uh, remove directory or remove file so uh, as we created the OS uh, uh, to remove uh, the directory or OS uh, you just type rmdir and then, uh, folder name OS so we will check the, the folder if it is uh, deleted just type dir so we can display the display it displays the uh, folder files of the computer so as you can see there is no more uh, folder named OS so the fifth command is the command copy so what it does is it copies a file from one location to another so here well, we need to go to a certain uh, directory or path so we just find a uh, We'll go to we'll go to a uh, folder document or directory uh, document. So go there. Then I will uh, copy the. Uh, let's say we will we need to copy the uh, this uh, file Joe PDF then. We will put it to the directory zoom so so in order to copy that to the uh, to that uh, certain location so this is the command uh, just need to type copy then quotation open quotation joe pdf uh, yeah file name it's file name then the directory zoom so, so here it is, uh, one file copied. So we, 
can go to the zoom to check if there is a job pdf there so so there you can see the folder i mean the file pdf job pdf so so the sixth uh, command is the command uh, move so uh, last time we introduced the command copy so now we can uh, move a file from one place to another so uh, I will move the file princess.jpg to the directory zoom so just put move and the file name princess pg then the directory zoom this is the command to move princess.jpg to zoom so uh, it tells that the one file is moved so we will check if there is a, a princess file there so as you can see there is a princess file in the uh, a directory zoom so the seventh uh, command is called uh, ren or rename so what it does is it changes the name of the file so uh, i will change the name of this file one.jpg to something new so this is how we do it uh, you will just type ren then uh, one.jpg the file you wanted to uh, rename then the new file name uh, let's say new one dot jpg so let's check if there is a uh, if it changes so now it is changed into new dot one so the eighth uh, command is called uh, del or short for a uh, delete delete command so it deletes one or more files so how to delete a file we just need to type del then your target a file let's say new one.jpg then enter so let's check if there is uh there, if there is a new new underscore what jpg there is no more uh new underscore one jpg in the documents the ninth uh command is called uh, exit what it does is it exits the command prompt uh, or the batch clip so to, to do that you just type exit now it was exit so the 10 uh command is uh, called echo so echo used to display a message or to turn on or off message in a batch script so to implement echo you need to uh, just type uh, echo command then uh, let's say uh, you'll give uh, a message that goes like this this is a message so uh, it uh, shows the message or what uh, what you uh, type on the echo script uh, there is another way to uh, use echoes echo can make a file uh, uh, send a message to a, a text file so to do that uh, you just need to this is a message message and uh, to greater than to indicate that we will be uh, sending this message to a file so this one must be a message that takes uh, a new uh, when this is done a new file is created so this name a uh, message that txt new uh, file and uh, uh, called message that txt was, was was made the 11 command is called the uh, type so type and echo is just like a uh, yin and yang it must be a uh, they are incorporated to each other. So, uh, to do the type command, you just need to uh, 
uh, write the type command then we've, we've created the message that text so you can display it by uh, mentioning the file name the file name so, so now the type command uh, displays the content of the message that text file so the 12 uh, basic command in command prompt is uh, called a uh, file comparing so the code for that is uh, fc which stands for file compare so the first thing we need to do is to have a uh, uh, two different file names or file so in order to do that uh, we will use the command type i mean uh, we will use uh, we will use echo then a message this is a message uh, uh, in uh, message the text file so we will create another file this is a message to uh, new new message new message at the xt so uh, we've created two uh, different uh, file but uh, same uh, content which is this is method message to um, to use the fc file compare command just uh, type uh, right like this or type like this fc then the first file message the text then the second uh, file which is new message the txt then it shows that uh, uh, the two file has two differences in counter so we will try another files but different concepts so to do that uh, I will create a uh, an file with a uh, message of a uh, message this is this uh, into file name called um, message new txt so i will be comparing the message uh, two file names with uh, different messages so message the text to uh, message new that txt so it shows that uh, there are different so it outputs uh, two different con content so it is not uh, it is compared and not not uh, same so this is how we use the fc uh, the next commands uh, is cls so CLS means uh, clear the screen so it basically uh, clears uh, deletes all the text in the command prompt so it is easy to use you will just type CLS to delete the messages on the screen so by typing CLS uh, all text will be gone so this is how simple CLS work then the last uh, command is help so help uh, provides more details about the command prompts command so we'll just type help so help has many functions uh, asoc a trip break uh, call cd chcp and many more so help uh, gives more uh, more commands in command prompt so this is all the 12 basic commands of command prompt. I hope you understand well. And God bless.